What is up, YouTube family? Florida the Five, back again with another video. It's been a while, but we're happy to see you. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for tuning in. Um, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button down below, because uh, any of you guys that follow us on Facebook, you may have seen it. A while ago, we did a post that once we hit 500 subscribers, we are going to give away one of our coveted Florida the Five t-shirts. They are very hard to come by. It's a limited edition. All you gotta do to be eligible to win the t-shirt is first of all, be a subscriber to our channel. Um, second of all, this is the way it's gonna go down, guys. We're gonna roll a dice. Obviously a dice, normal dice, has six sides, has six numbers, one through six. Those numbers will correspond with our last six videos. And <laughs> we will pick whatever video we roll the dice up, go to the comment section, see how many comments there are, um, randomize the numbers, and whoever the lucky number is, is gonna win themselves a nice, awesome Floor of the Five t-shirt. So go ahead guys and check out our last videos. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. For today's video, we are going to talk about advice that Lindsay and Erica of today would give. You went the wrong way. We would give. <laughs> would give. <laughs> would give. Lindsay and Erica <laughs> of a year ago, right? Oh my gosh, how many times have we done that and we still can't get it? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Anyway, the first advice I think that I would give myself and you is hey, guys, guess what? You're going to be alone. Yeah. Yep. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Mm -mm. But we knew it wouldn't be easy. No. Um, what we mean, I mean, obviously, we're not alone. We got neighbors, you know, but yeah. we don't have our family. No. And, and that's, that's, that's the part that I wouldn't even say. We're, I mean, we're not struggling, guys. We're no. not struggling. We're happy. You know, it's just that we miss people, you know? Yeah. And that's, um, I don't care how long it's been. It's still hard. Right. You, you know... You got to realize that when you move, especially as far as we moved, I think, I don't know the miles exactly, 1,300, 1,400 miles away, you know, it's drive straight through, 21-hour drive. You, it's not like you can go down the street and see your mom, see grandma and grandpa, anything like that. Guys, they're not here. You know, you go, our kids are in baseball games, and we're the only ones in the stands cheering. Well, and up. I think, too, like, when our kids do something, like a milestone or whatever, their first home run or, you know, band concerts, whatever, I think it's super exciting for us as parents, but then it's that reminder that grandma's not here, great grandma's not here, great grandpa's not here, Yeah. and, you know, my sisters aren't here, you know, my brother-in-law's, so I think it's just that reminder that, like, you're, like, on that really high, like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you just did that, oh, my gosh, can you believe that, and then it's, like, Grandma didn't see that, yeah. you know? Hey, so, we'll post it to Facebook. But it's yeah. not the same, guys, you know? It's I mean, not. But, you know, we're we're dealing with it, and yeah. we're coping with it, and we're... we're FaceTime. I'd say, I'd say we're used to it now, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and... And the kids get excited right away when they get in the car. Let me call Grandma. Yeah. Let me FaceTime, you know? So, you know so. what? It, you, it can almost be seen as a positive as well, because it makes the time when you do see family that much more so special. So much better, yeah. You know? And yeah. it's just... For life sure. lasting memories that you make with them at those times yeah um also in the sense of being alone um i think it's important to point out you know all of us especially you know we got five kids guys you know it's it's we counted on people a lot of the time to help you know with you know oh we're not feeling not, like, well counted well, on, not but, like, counted on them but it was great to know that they were there yeah to, backups you know sure. have rides to school if one of us was sick or Save. one of the kids was sick yeah we got two throwing up, but this one's got to get to soccer or whatever. So I, many you know. countless times back in Wisconsin yeah. where our kids are very active. We'd have mm -hmm. one kid that's over here in soccer, one kid in baseball, one playing basketball, you know, whatever Gymnastic, it was. Gymnastics, swimming. We can only be two places at once. Yeah. We can't be three places at once. So now it's just a lot more coordination on our part and trying to make sure the kids yeah. 
um, extracurricular activities are scheduled same place, same time, you know, which but, luckily we've been lucky to find lots of stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, with the down is the positive too, that like we are doing it. Like our kids are still that active. We still go through sicknesses. Um, and me and you are rocking it out and yeah. we're getting it done and our kids are getting places and we're figuring it out and we're doing it on our own. And you know, yeah, it's pull your hair out at sometimes, but we get it done. And, that's life though. Mm -hmm. you know? No matter where you are, that's life. Five kids, you're going to pull your hair out. Two kids, yeah. you're probably going to pull your hair out. Yeah. One kid. <laughs> so, um, the next bit of advice, um, we would give ourselves is to do more research. Not that we didn't think we did enough research guys. You can't do enough research no. when you're moving this far. Okay. Like when we moved down here, we had, it was a shotgun move, you know, it was yeah, three weeks. from the time that I said, Oh my gosh, Hey, I got an email that they want me down in Florida to interview for a job to the time we actually moved here was less than a month and a half. Yeah. So that's a pretty tight time frame, And there was no way in heck that I was moving here by myself to start a job without my family. Mm -hmm. So that, that was just a decision that w worked for us. Right. And yeah, it's not, it's not I don't everybody. mean to bash anybody no. that decides to do that because these are our opinions. You know, this is just how yeah. we feel. You know, I, I didn't want to leave my wife with our five children at home to fend for themselves. Now yeah. everybody's in a different situation. Yep. Don't get mad at me and No, we were we were in this situation where your work was like, hey, like you, we understand you're not coming down without your mm -hmm. wife and we'll figure it out. So we were luckily in well, that situation. And to be transparent, um, my employer here was very flexible on the start yeah. time. I could have started a month later if I wanted to. Yeah. But at the point when, you know, you're so excited and we need let's, to just, rip the let's off. just get this done and yep. start. So, yep. um, but for research guys, what I, what I was trying to get at is we had so little time to come down that I flew out for an interview, um, accepted the job, flew back and I was probably back for what, a week and a half. Mm -hmm. And then I flew down again for, I think three nights. And and in, in that Let's just remind you, I didn't get to come at all. Right. You never even came. No, I it never even just, saw the house until so, we rolled up with the moving truck. The second time I came down was more to kind of go through what my duties were going to be at my new job. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of work stuff going on as well. But in that same time, I had to find a home. Yep. So um, granted... Um, I think we've told you guys before we decided to rent right away. Yep. So which was the smartest. Yeah, I, I am so thankful for that decision. But what I'm getting at is <sighs> rentals in Florida. Uh, maybe it's different in different areas, but where we're at, they go like that. You have to jump on them. Yep. Um, so I mean, I was literally in the airport back in Wisconsin, guys, waiting to come here, looking at Realtor.com at rentals or whatever, and. Found you a bunch. Would get here and they found a bunch, and I got literally. They were. I think mm -hmm. I found three houses, and I'm like, I have to see these. I landed. I called the realtor, and two of them were already gone. Yep. So the one we're in now was on my top three list, and I came and saw it, and mm -hmm. it, was it was available. Done. And I'm like, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> Let me fill out an application because I don't want to risk sleeping on it and it being yeah. gone tomorrow. You definitely so. even like our small bit of where we stuck our foot in the water with. Which that was, that's another thing I would have said to us too. I think we wasted a lot of time right away in the beginning thinking we we're going to buy right away. I am so glad we did not do that mm -hmm. because we're still so undecided yeah. on what we, areas, what areas, areas do we want to be closer to his stuff? Do, do we, we want to be want, closer to the ocean? Do we yes. want to be closer to the ocean or do we want to stay by the parks or whatever? So I'm so glad that we took a step back and was like, let's just run. Let's, let's just rent. Let's get our feet wet. Let's know the areas. Um, so that definitely, I feel like out of all the mistakes that we made, um, with not doing as much, I wouldn't say mistakes, just learning curves. Yeah. yeah. I'm glad Things that would be differently. I'm glad that we decided to rent because man, but even with that being said, like you with houses, you can't even, you can't even go to lunch on that. And they're gone. Yeah. There's people who you go and you call a realtor and you're like, I, I need to see this house. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And then somebody bought it 
online. Yeah, there's people that do it sight unseen. Sight so. unseen. So it's crazy. Yeah. It's very crazy. But to get back to doing your research thing, I mean, as far as like schools, I guess, if you got kids, you know, like. That is like a whole. We, the house we're in now, you know, I was looking online. The closest school is a public school, not rated so well. No. Okay. But the second closest school is um, a charter school that's like one of the best schools yep. in the area. So naturally, I'm like, that's where we're going to go, yep. you know? So I get down here. And in that same trip, guys, I applied for the house here. I didn't even know I, we were going to get it yet. I didn't know we were accepted. And you were right away, out I went around to schools to fill out the applications. And I walked into that school. They guys, pretty much laughed at you. And they laughed at me like, ha. Uh, did you sign up when your kid was born? Because the waiting list is that long. Which so. is, I just feel like it's so awful when there's, there, there's nothing. I'm just, this is from our perspective. We love Florida. We live here. But I feel in our area, not all of Florida, in our area, it's kind of far and few between to find these really good schools. And then they make it so hard to get into. Yeah. Luckily, it's, we found another charter school yeah. that we're happy with. Yep. Um, so... You it guys worked out. Do your yeah, but we, as we said in our first video, we got here and we're like, oh yeah, crap, we don't have, we can't get them in that good school, so we're like, well, we'll try out the public school. <gasps> not that one. Last, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not naming any names. Our kid, but kids last stayed one week. One week. One week, and it was, yeah. And that's not just a Florida thing, you know. That no, could be that can be anywhere. So, it can be anywhere. So it just happened to be where, you know. And as far as, you know, another thing about doing your research, um, not that it's a huge deal, but, you know, other people are on different budgets than other people, you know. Mm -hmm. So just, I didn't know the area we were in that, you know, you get down here, you're going to have to pay deposits and all the utilities and, um, you know, even like getting cable and everything is different. You know, I think in Wisconsin, we got cable, they came, hooked everything up and they leave and you get a bill in the mail. Yeah. Here they came and hooked up the cable so and they're like, hmm, well, that'll be one ninety nine or whatever it was. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh shoot, you know, I wasn't planning for that. And it's just being Which was aware. fine. Yeah, being it, ready. But it's just it would have been nice to know ahead of time. Yeah. You know? But yeah, every I feel like everything here, you have to pay everything up front. Yeah, yeah. Um What's a good tool to help with research? Hmm. hmm. Maybe a Facebook group, you know? Yeah. And you know what? We found a good one in a group called Moving to Florida. Yep. And you can, I mean, there's, I think the last time I checked, there's something like 8,000 members or something yeah. on there. So literally, guys, there's people there that live in Florida already. And they live all over the states, you know, or all over the state. So any question you have in a particular area, they're going to be able to help you out with. Yeah, I absolutely love that page yes. and giving myself advice back then to now, right? Yeah. I wish I would have had that. I Even the short period of time that we had to move, even have been being on there just for the couple weeks that we had would have been a huge help, huge help. So shout out to you, Shannon. Thank you for starting that page. Hashtag Shannon approved. Yes, hashtag <laughs> Shannon approved. Um, another thing I would do is to join the moms, moms groups you mm -hmm. know there's moms groups for every area there's you know? dads on there too yeah i don't know why you it's get so called mom's group so mm -hmm. that doesn't you know it doesn't sit well with me you know i get it do it anyway. be, be the one be the one to start it <laughs> no do it anyway uh no matter where you live even back where we used to live in wisconsin there was you know a mom's group there and anything from hey what's this rash yeah. on my kid's belly yeah to, hey where's the best dentist in the area you know guys that's that's what you need to get yourself into. If you're moving to right this particular away. area, join the group before you go. So another thing that I would give myself advice to the Lindsay back then, to the Lindsay now, is, and I can't even believe I'm saying it, but we should have got rid of more stuff. Oh my. That is like, like I was choking a little bit saying <laughs> that. That was actually kind of hard for me. Um, One thing we could do that would maybe stop you from choking is give our viewers a tour of our garage right now. Oh, man. They don't want to see that. No, guys. Okay. So I have, like, built-in shelves lined both sides of our garage. And it is packed toys. full. Toys, clothes, decorations. Mostly toys. You know, 
And that's almost to be expected, especially we, anybody- We have a big family. Yeah, listen though, anybody coming from a Northern state, you're used to having a basement, basement. put your stuff in, you know, here in Florida, no, no basements, you know? So we're gonna store stuff, it's the garage. Most people, Do. at least, I'd say, mm, what? Like hardly anybody puts their cars Nobody in the garage Nobody puts here. their cars in the garage, not in no. our neighborhood, you know, not it's for storage, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, it's- And every time I see people's garages, open, it's the stuff. same thing yeah. as us. So. so yeah, I mean, get rid of more stuff, guys. Yeah. Facebook Marketplace was a godsend for us in Wisconsin. Uh, not not here. so much in Florida. Not in our area. Yeah, it could be different other places. Again, this channel is about our experiences, yeah. not yours. But hopefully we can, <laughs> hopefully we can mold yours. You know. I mean, and, it. This area, first of all, you people people constantly here when we put stuff on. We're it's not like we weren't hearing anything. The problem was, is like people were contacting about our stuff and then they never come. Oh yeah. Or we get- Low balls. Well, yeah. Lots of yeah. That. Or they'll say- You want to trade? Um, trade yeah. or they'll come here and be like, oh, I'll, I'll pay full price for that. And then they come here and then- And then they, try to bargain with you. Like, and I'm talking about things that like maybe are a hundred dollar, $150, you know, that furniture. they're offering 50 bucks. And for. they're like, you take 40? Yeah. Um, but, you know, and then you're here face to face and then it's awkward, you know, right. whatever. But the other thing too is we ran into a lot of like scary, scary situations with the Facebook market down We don't there. need to get into that. We don't though. need to get into it, but, but it just, we never had that issue in Wisconsin. As like a, ever. As a contrast here, in Wisconsin, we literally like all the stuff we were getting rid of, it was January when we were preparing to move in Wisconsin. So... Not a good time for a garage sale. But we did really well though. Even We did do a garage sale, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, Facebook Marketplace, as we were like, should we keep this, should we sell this? Okay, keep this, sell this, you know? And we made a sell pile and literally on the weekends, I sat there and listed, listed, listed. Yeah. And listed things. And usually they were selling almost as fast as I could list yep. them. And where we were there, nobody was heckling no. us on the price. And literally, I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, but we were doing like porch pickups for everything. Yeah, and like th there'd be situations where we'd put things on the porch and people would stick like $5 extra on yeah, it yeah. or something so like that. It we was... would literally like, someone would message us and you know, I'd like to buy that stroller you have or whatever it was. And okay, would you be okay with a porch pickup? Because you know, I'm busy inside doing stuff. Yep. I'd set it out on the porch and I'd say there's an envelope underneath the doormat. And Never I could put six things out there for six different people. No one put ever an envelope anything. underneath the doormat and all the money was in there yep. for everything. People would come, not take any other money out or be like, Not oh, take there's... any yeah. other things out on the porch. Right. And now here, I mean, I'm not trying to say that I don't know what it is because it's not I'm I don't want to say people are less trustworthy because the people I've met and made friends with are great people awesome but i mean when it comes to this facebook marketplace game here guys it's a whole new game and i honestly don't think that we would have e i don't think we'd even be doing it if we weren't in a secured gated oh, community right. yeah. with guards at the front yeah hands down especially with the experience we went through yeah it but was awful literally you know we're listing things that would sell in a snap like when we sold things in Wisconsin, you know, we brand were new furniture, beds and whatever, yep. and you know, discounted half price of what we bought it for. And we're, we're not getting messages on it or people are messaging, Hey, is this still available? Yes. And then nothing like crickets. And then they'd come back a day later and be like, I really want this. And then we'd say, okay, when can I'm you good. pick up? Yeah. Seven o'clock. And then tomorrow would come around no sure. and then it's, can you please, I just really want it. It's like, <laughs> Oh my gosh. But that's just, you know, it's, it's just our experience, so. Right, and that leads me in to the next thing that I would um, give myself as advice. And I'm just kind of winging this one, guys, but know that things are going to be different. No matter where you're coming from or where you're moving to in Florida, and this is probably true, you know, if you're moving long distance to any state, you know, if you're moving from Vermont to Nevada, things are going to be different. Mm -hmm. You know, there's holidays. Holidays are different. Let's talk about that because I didn't even think about that. Like, holidays are way different. In Wisconsin, yep. we had a tradition, and our tradition was every year on Black Friday, 
we would put on our snow pants, put on our boots, you know, our stocking caps and gloves and everything and go cut down our Christmas tree. And be freezing. Right. Well, here in Florida, we're like, let's do the same thing. But, oh, it's so cool. We don't need our snow pants. We don't need our boots. You know, we went there and we're like, okay, we're going to put on our flannels. So we, for the picture. So we look cute for the picture. Mm -hmm. um, with our sleeves rolled up, of course, because it was 85 oh degrees out. It was so hot. And we all had shorts on. And, I mean, it was still cutting down a Christmas tree, but I'm not going to lie. It didn't feel the same. No. It's still, like... Well, tonight, tonight we went and drove around and looked at Christmas, at Christmas lights, lights. Yeah. and like that was, the kids love doing that. Mm -hmm. And our um, gated community, they, there are some neighborhoods in here that is like, oh my gosh, yeah. yay, they really decked out. And and then we have a little like, um, the clubhouse has a competition. Contest, yeah. yeah, so. Uh, I really thought I'd be in the running for <laughs> I went a little bit of Tim Allen. Mm -hmm. No, but nothing. No, we did not pick me. No, there it was a, way better. Yeah. Um, but so that, I mean, there are places you can go here, um, celebrations, which you'll see that video coming up. Um, downtown Disney never fails. Um, SeaWorld, there's, you know, so many little communities that the carolers, there's just so many. I mean, we did a sleigh ride and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, it gets you in the, in the, mood, in, yeah, in the, yeah, mood, in the fake snow. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite. It was you'll really see that cool. in the video too. I mean, it was cool. And you know what? I think it brings me to this, that it doesn't feel like Christmas to us that much yet, yeah. you know, because we're not used to it because we associate Christmas with cold weather and all yeah. of our old traditions we had, you know, we got to make our new traditions here and then I believe it will feel like Christmas. And I think some of you Wisconsinites, is that right? Did you say Wisconsinites? Sure. Or like, you know what? We're Floridian. Yeah. We're not, okay. Wisconsiners. Wisconsiners. Up Wisconsin. northers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Midwesterners. Yeah. Would agree with me. I feel like, okay, especially ladies, um, your body kind of gets ready for the, you know, the colder, you know, the cooler temps where you're wanting to like, put the leggings on, put your cute little... Your Uggs. Your Uggs and your... Cute little sweaters, and scarves. And scarves, and like all that kind of stuff. And it's like my body had a hard time because it's like fall came. I saw the pumpkin spice everywhere, and I'm like, all right. And you can't do that. It's too hot. Let me let me tell you, you something, guys. It's funny. You see us both in sweatshirts right now. It's our now? ACs on. No, I think we have our heat on, which is sad. I think the heat's still on from the other day because it got down in the fifties at night. But. Is it really? I, yeah, it's, I it's, I, I had, I had a, a windbreaker jacket on at work today because it was a little, what I thought was chilly and I wasn't even paying attention to it. And I was on my way home and the radio said, it's, you know, Orlando, it's 70, 70 degrees. degrees. And I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm wearing a jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Our kids that week that that cold front came in crying, going to the bus stop in the morning. When it was oh. like 50. It was even, it was warmer than that. It was like 60. And they were like, I can't do this. You know, and that made, I'm like, you oh guys my may gosh. think that's not going to be me. I'm from the North. Guess what, guys? We were too. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, but I like looked at the kids. I'm like, you have Wisconsin in your blood, son. Like, it is 60. Like, why are we crying, you know? And they're like, mom, please. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I get cold too. I'm like, the other day when we were getting Santa, you were like, it is not cold. I'm like, we're like literally shivering mm -hmm. and it's like 69. Yeah. Um, so you, you, your body switches real quick. You get used to the mm -hmm. warm weather. And real like, quick. like I was saying, I really believe that Christmas will feel more Christmas to us. Maybe the next longer year. we're here because we're going to make new traditions yep. and you know, we're going to be like, oh, we do this every Christmas, yep. you know, and then, okay, that's what we do. Yep. I think it was hard too. We were supposed to go home for Thanksgiving and that didn't happen. So, you know, I think if we would have had that little cold, you know, snap, snap. get it out of our system. Although yeah. If I'm wearing a jacket at 60, I don't know what I'd be doing. Oh my God. Our kids. Zero. You know, it's like zero there now. Like our kids, what would have they would have done? Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. They, they definitely, you know, born and raised Wisconsin, <clears throat> but like they have never handled the cold. I think they were literally always been you know warmer kids warmer mm. climate kids because they hence I, the reason 
that we've made it easy to move to Florida. Easy yeah. decision for us. We love summer, you know, mm -hmm. and literally, you know, we'd get outside in the winter when it snowed and make a snowman, but I would say for most of the winter we cooped ourselves up because our mm -hmm. kids don't like the cold. They're sick all the time. Sick all the time. I hated shoveling. Yep. Um, all I do now. Asthma. All I do was... now is sweep the sand off the sidewalk. <laughs> That's what I do. But, you know. Oh, it... oh. Back to the Christmas thing. I Something I forgot to mention. So we cut down our own Christmas tree here. The Florida Christmas trees are different than the northern Christmas yeah. trees. Like, it's like a. I wish we could show you right now, but it would mess up the whole video. So, anyway, it's more bushy, bushy longer pine needles and one thing i didn't think about we brought in our house stood it up and fire ants started coming out of it. Yeah. not many a few but it's like oh my gosh yeah. there's there's bugs in this the tree there's still know? living things because right. it's not freezing yeah exactly so that's something to be aware of i guess yeah. we didn't think about that but what i was going to say before you interrupted you. yeah mm -hmm. is it's just sometimes still even though i've been here almost a year it's surreal thinking that like we're what five, six days away from Christmas. And we are driving around today with our windows down, Sunglasses hands out on. the window. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just weird. Like it's- It's weird, but it's good, you know? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. You know, and we can- Different. We can kind of wrap up the video here, you guys, by telling you, you know what? We're, we're doing good. We're doing good. And we are- Getting better. We are getting better. Are we just going to keep like- I was going to keep repeating it. That's what I was, was going to do, like, yeah. Okay. You're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, we're we're doing good. Mm -hmm. um, we like living in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, we miss we, our family. We miss our family. <laughs> These are much. all the facts. You yep. know, we miss our family. We like living here. We're doing good. Yep. We are getting accustomed to it. So the whole like, I'm homesick thing. Yeah, we're still homesick, but it's not overwhelming. You know, it's not like we are contemplating like packing up and moving right. back home because we're not. Okay. Me, Sorry, few, I know that's going to disappoint some people. Me, a few months ago, yeah, no. I was still there. And that's something that I would my, give myself but advice me, from back then to now is that I wish I like, wasn't so hard on myself because I'm getting better. I'm, I think I've come and accepted that I'm always going to miss my family. That's, I, I don't care how many Christmases go by. I, that, that's never going to change, like how much that I miss my family. But also with that being said, I am actually, for the first time, I can say like Florida is my home. She said it. Okay. She said Don't it. Don't get like she said too it. excited here. <laughs> Wisconsin will always be my home. Always, always, always. Your be. vacation home. No, it will always be my home. But now I've learned and adapted to that. My heart's big enough to have two homes. Oh my gosh. So now I have two homes, Wisconsin so and cute. Florida. And let, and let me, you know, this lady right here, she's not giving up this tan complexion for a Wisconsin winter right now. You know? Oh my she's gosh. not going to do it. Actually, I haven't been able to tan because yeah, it's been cold. You're way more tan than you would be living in Wisconsin right now. I think it's beastie true. white. Okay. Yes. Well, you guys, if you made it all the way through. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know we tend to rant a lot. Yeah, um, we're not good at this. You know what, guys? Keep on living that salt life. Um, oh we love that you guys are watching our videos. So and we get to share our lives with you. So, you know, do us a favor. Please subscribe. Um, it lets us know you guys love us, you know, love watching our videos. And it really motivates us to keep and watching more. we're going to promise to keep make sure more. that we fit this into our life yep, because our kids have been, when are we going to do this? When are we going to do this? You know? And I think it just throwing this in, which we had to do it because this is what our, this is what our, you know, our channel is about. We had to throw it in here, you know, and the timing that we did, but I think throwing the YouTube on top of everything we were going through yeah. with the adjustment and everything, it just, life happens. And, um, we want to do this as a family and the kids are 100% and we, and are, we just have to fit it in. We're excited now, guys, because yeah. we, we got, okay, we're not, right now, this is being filmed on our phone, but um, I don't know if you can tell, we got a couple, um, we have professional lighting that's on us right now, so hopefully, I don't know if it's professional, it's, I don't think it's, it's professional. It's lighting for videos and we bought it on Amazon, so it's probably Yeah, so it's so totally anyway, like, we bought, we invested some money in it, we put some lighting, we bought two 
two new cameras. Mm -hmm. One of them's got a nice microphone on it. We just got to get all this underwater. stuff. Underwater. We got an underwater camera, guys. We're going to be doing some exciting stuff. So stick yep. around. And guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.